In this video, I'm going to discuss the Teddy Bridgewater trade to the New Orleans Saints, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and why I think they is a good move for them and why I think they also messed up. We're starting right now. What up, dude? What's up, everybody? It's Aaron Duncan here with the Necessary Blunt and the Sports Talk here with another video. Just a quick video. Uh, I got the news of the Teddy Bridgewater trade to the New Orleans Saints. It was a surprise. It was a shocker to everybody. Everybody saw the quarterback controversy when Sam Darnold got uh, picked up. They had Josh McCown also on the roster with the Jets. And, of course, they had Teddy Bridgewater. So, you know it's the full house. Teddy Bridgewater pretty much played himself into getting a new, new job. We just didn't know where. We were expecting him to go to different teams that needed a quarterback. Uh, somewhere like Miami, maybe, or the people said the mentioned the Bucks, or something like that. Somewhere that needed like had a young quarterback, or they had a quarterback coming off injury that could use Teddy because he looked very steady in the preseason. He looked great. It was a real shocker for the Saints to pick him up because they had Tom Savage, J.T. Barrett, and Taysom Hill. What this tells me is the Saints aren't 100% confident in what they saw in Taysom Hill. Uh, J.T. Barrett has had some good practices with on her, but his preseason showing wasn't the best. And Taysom Hill, he looked kind of shaky too, but he's an athlete. He'll be on the team for special teams and other positions is what uh, Sean Payton says he wants to do. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to develop in time before Drew Brees retires. Teddy Bridgewater is a vet. He'll be able to sit on the bench for a couple years and uh, I guess learn the system. And Sean Payton is a great offensive coordinator. He's a great quarterback whisperer. Teddy Bridgewater is a smart quarterback, smart decision maker. I like the relationship. What I don't like is what they gave up for. They gave up a third round pick, even though they got back a six from the Jets, which, which would be a high round pick. A third round pick is a lot for Teddy Bridgewater for what he is. He's still questionable about his knee. Granted, he, and he was going against twos and threes in the preseason when he looked as great as he did. Um, I guess his mind is back, but as far as his body, his knees, and his production, his health, that'll be the tell. I mean, the only the max amount of touchdowns he's had in the season is 14, and I think that was his first or second year in the league. Uh, granted, like I said, Sean Payton is the quarterback whisperer, so he could probably turn water into wine there, but I like the move, like I said, for the purpose and the idea. I don't like what they gave up for. This, to me, this is the second time they've given up too much to acquire a player. The first time was when they got Marcus Davenport, when they gave up a lot of top picks to move up to get him and he's not going to be a day one starter he needs some development he's still rough around the edges but in this matter specifically teddy bridgewater has one year left on his contract he's about four million dollars so the first thing they need to do is extend teddy bridgewater if they're serious about keeping him for the future and they're gonna have to trade tom savage of course because they have a crowded backfield right now cut days is a few days away so we'll see if they can make a deal i heard there's a lot of interest for savage so we'll see what happens going forward you guys let me know what you thought about the trade move down below in the comments do you think it was a good trade do you think it was an even trade to get that six round pick were you surprised as i am i'm sure you were let me know down below in the comments what you think about the trade but without any further ado make sure you subscribe to the channel i'm aaron duncan signing off for a necessary blunt and sports talk i'll see you next time